This is a question that I get asked often. How much protein per meal should you have? Well, the key points are most of my belly burners that I work with, they're in some form of high protein diet. I personally consume over 50% of my macros from protein. And third is that I believe your body adapts to whatever that you give to it. What's up everybody? Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit, home of the belly burn challenge. Well, my first point is that most of the belly burns that usually join my team, they tend to drop fat and they do see muscle. Now, depending on where they are in the weight loss or weight gain cycle, I gradually reduce the carbs by week four and get their body used to consuming more protein with less calories. And I'm always assessing energy levels and mood, and both are usually pretty good. The only time that they feel fatigue is either they ramped up their activity because when everybody starts a belly burn, they tend to go hardcore and then they tend to burn off more calories than I assume and eventually will adapt to it or it's towards the end of the belly burn challenge when we gradually cut down the calories to the point where we're like, okay, we're gonna cut you down for these next two days. So the next two days, I'm going to expect you to be tired, probably a little bit grumpy, but when you show up to that photo shoot or when you jump on that scale on Saturday, you're gonna be extremely happy. And after, I want you to enjoy, but I don't want you to go crazy. So the people that generally join my belly burn and the thousands of people that I've worked with over the past three to four years on a belly burn, they generally go into a high protein diet. So when they're doing these high protein diets, most of the people that I work with are extremely busy. And so most of their food gets lumped into one or two meals. And that puts them well over that 20 to 30 grams of protein that all the gurus out there recommend. So what is that saying? Well, for me personally, and the people that I work with, a high protein diet, whether it's 50 or 60 grams per meal, not the regular 20 to 30 grams per meal, all see results, all drop fat while seeing muscle gain. Now when it comes to me, I generally eat lots of protein. So my day looks like this. I start with one cup of Greek yogurt into my blender where I put the greens powder, the spinach, the collagen, and I blend that up with ice and water. And then right after that, I always have a double protein shake and two Nary bars. Now if you add up all that protein, the protein that are in the double limitless isolate protein shake is about 60 grams. Then there's 10 grams of protein coming from the collagen. And then there's about a half a cup to even up to a cup of Greek yogurt. And that's anywhere from 20 to 30 grams. That's like 100 grams of protein. And I consume that all at once. And then maybe two hours later, I'll have 10 ounces of meat, whether that be a giant bowl of ground beef. Today I had ground chicken and it was weighed out at 10 ounces. I put a cup of Greek yogurt. I put a little bit of salad in there just from the, the bag salad with no dressing. And then I put uh, Quest protein chips on top. So if you add all that up, you're looking at like 100 to 120 grams of protein. Dinner is slimmer to lunch. I'll still have the double shake with the Nary bar as a snack, or I'll have some type of pre-packaged protein bar. And that's a lot of protein per serving. I really only eat two massive meals a day, and then I'll have one massive snack, like my Greek yogurt with the green shake, and I get about 250 to 300 grams of protein. And the last I checked, I'm not fat, and my body isn't going through any type of withdrawal. In fact, I actually get my blood work done every six months, and that's just for my personal well-being. I just like to know where my body's at when it comes to my testosterone, my, my how's my liver doing, how's my red blood cells doing, how's my white blood cells doing, my LDLs, HDLs, my cholesterol, all that kind of stuff. And every time that I go, it comes back perfect. And I've been eating like this since we've started the belly burn. But I'm seeing more gains now. I'm seeing myself being even leaner. I'm not always full. And in fact, I don't have time to eat six meals a day in order for me to get that 240 to 300 grams of protein that I consume every day. So for me personally, eating a higher percentage of protein and big proteins per meal, that works. And last but not least, I believe that your body adapts to what you consistently do. If you look around the world, there's places in this world where they don't have access to carbs, right? Or there's places in this world that only eat carbs, or there's places in this world that only eat protein and their body adapts to it. Nobody out there is living longer than any other people. And there's places that only eat carbs and their obesity levels are lower than our obesity levels here in Canada. And so I believe that your body's going to adapt to what it consistently is being fed. 
So if you're eating only two meals a day and each meal is 100 grams of protein each, your body will process it and utilize it for whatever fuel your body's going to need. Now, if you try to make a drastic change from eating a ton of carbs, so most people spend the summer eating a ton of carbs, and then they come back to a belly burn challenge in September, and they try to do it themselves, and what ends up happening is they cut, try to cut out all the carbs that they've been eating, and all the junk food that they've been eating, and guess what happens? They go through withdrawal. They have no energy, they feel weak, they feel like their muscles are not functioning how they should, and why? Well, you were running this way, and all of a sudden now you start running this way, that's gonna be a drastic change for your body. But if you've been consistently doing a high protein diet for not months, not years, but even half a decade, then eventually your body is gonna get accustomed to the macros that you're giving it and it's gonna utilize it exactly how you need it. I've consumed about 200 grams of protein today. I do not have any brain fog. I'm talking to you. I got my workout plan. I got a little ping pong where I'm gonna kick Jerome's butt today, little pickleball today, and some pickleball tonight. I'll have the feel that I need from the 250 to 300 grams of protein, and I've barely eaten any carbs. So where's that feel, that high intensity feel gonna come from? My body's gonna find a way to convert whatever fuel I give to it into energy. So what am I trying to say is that number one, your body is going to adapt to whatever macros that you give it. Whether you give it high protein, whether you give it high carbs or high fats, as long as you're in your caloric deficit, you're still going to see weight loss and fat loss. If you wanna see more muscle, then you're obviously gonna to have to put yourself into a caloric surplus. To a certain extent, that's for another video, but your body's going to adapt. I personally consume a lot of protein per sit down and I have no adverse effects. My blood work shows it, my energy levels to be able to do these videos, to be a business owner, to be a dad, to play sports is all there. And last but not least is that your body is going to adapt to whatever you give to it. So give it time, trust the process, and expect to see the results, but you gotta do it for a long term. So I'm Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit. If you're looking for a nutritional guideline and you're looking to get results, then visit us at www.fitclub.fit and mention a belly bird.